Hello, citizen, and welcome. My name is Simon, and this is my strategy on tire list. I've spent nearly 100 hours diving into Helldivers 2, so today in this video, I will share my thoughts upon the stratagems in the game while giving some examples upon how to use them properly. Now, let's dive, shall we? Now, before we start, I'll have to say that these stratagems and their usage will change depending on your squad size and difficulty. If you want a specific guide on how to build an S-tire squad for higher difficulty, let me know down in the comments. As for this current tire list, let's start with the support weapons. First, we have the LMG. This one you get straight out of the game. And honestly, I'd rank this a B-tire. Even in higher difficulty, this gun is still amazing, especially if you are designated towards clearing out the hordes of small circlings. The anti-material rifle? Yeah, that's gonna be a D-tire. Sorry, just doesn't cut it. The stalwart? Goes the same as the LMG. It doesn't have the same amount of firepower as in damage, but it has higher mobility, meaning you can reload this gun while running. Expendable anti-tank. This one for me is gonna be a C-tire. However, you do unlock this early on, and I do recommend getting it, because it's going to be your first proper line of defense against the charges. The recoilless rifle, same as the expendable, goes into the C-tire. The recoilless rifle is a little bit better, because it does come with an ammo pack. The flamethrower, this is going to be a D-tire. The flamethrower will do quite the damage against the termites, but you have to be really close, and also, you will most likely set yourself ablaze. And therefore, yeah, it's not really cutting it. The auto cannon, I'll put that into an A tire. It's gonna be amazing for clearing out hordes, medium sized enemies, and closing some of those glory holes where the termites comes up from. The same follows for the grenade launcher. The arc thrower, this one is a little bit weird for me. Personally, I do not like it because of the charge up time and the amount of damage it does. It doesn't just feel right for me, but I've had people in my squad using it and just absolutely loving it. So I'd say, this might be a switch between A or B, depending on who you are. For me, this is going to be a B tire. Also, because this one, do not care if you are friend or foe. If you are in the ways of this lightning ray coming out of the gun, you will get sapped and you will die. But that might be why my friends like it. The laser cannon, don't use it. It's not worth it. Railgun, this one is pure as tire. It is the best call-in support weapon in the game. Period. It can deal with anything you meet. That being charges, being medium-sized enemies, being the Bile Titans. Now, when you use it, I do highly recommend you learn how to use it on unsafe mode, just to get that extra power out of the gun and the ammunition. That will also help you when you're fighting the Bile Titans. If you decide to do that, just aim for the head. The spear. The spear I put into an A-tire. The spear works amazing against heavy charges, bile titans, and also a lot of the, the heavier, bulkier automatrons, that being the Hulk. Now, one of the drawbacks with it is, firstly, the reload time is really long on it, and secondly, also, you have to lock in on your target before you can shoot it, and sometimes, it just doesn't want to lock in. Now, let's take a look at the backpacks, and we're going to start out with the guard dog and the rover. Both of these I'm going to put into the B tire. The difference between them is the rover that's shooting the laser beam do not deliver its maximum damage from the get-go. It has to charge up the laser beam, just like the scythe in the game. A big issue I have specifically with these backpack is they do friendly fire and they will kill you. It happened for me a lot of times. Whenever I bring it in, at some point throughout the dive, I will die from my own rover or guard dog. Just because I get in the way between the enemy and that thing. The ammo backpack this one is actually surprisingly an A-tire, and that is because when you get into higher difficulties, you will run out of ammo faster than you expect. So just having one guy in your squad with the ammo backpack so he can supply your team is just amazing. Shield backpack, S-tire. I don't think this came as a surprise for you. This thing will help you immensely on higher difficulties. 
because you will not get those small stuns and stutters and get knocked around. Like, whenever your shield is up, you're good to go and you can just keep on blasting. I tend to love this swing when I'm the one dealing with the heavies or charges, depending on what you call them. Um, because I tend to use the Raycon first, shoot the armor on the legs twice to remove it, then switch to my main gun and blast the leg until they die. And sometimes the charges tend to get a little bit too close before they die. And that is where this backpack comes in because it is just a lifesaver for me. The jetpack can be fun and it can also be pretty effective, but it's very niche. So therefore I'm going to put it into the C tire. Where I've found the best use for the jetpack is if you're doing the X missions, in some situations you can have a guy that is just rushing in with the jetpack, jumping straight into the nest, blowing up all the eggs and then just yeeting the hell out of there again. The jetpack can also be used before you unlock the shield backpack, as in if you're getting overrun, then you can use the jet backpack to propel yourself away of harm. Eagle Cluster S Tire. This is the best thing you can find in the game for clearing out the hordes of circlings. Whenever you fully unlock your stratagem center, then you'll have five of these call-ins with a really short cooldown in between them before it has to fly back and rearm itself. It does blanket a huge wide area when you use it, so be careful around where your teammates are, but it will decimate the enemies. And while also taking care of the small ones, it's also going to soften up the armor on the more heavy enemies. Now for the orbital, air burst, and for the gatling, these I'll put them into the C tire. They kind of want to do the same as the eagle cluster, they just doesn't do it just as good, so therefore they are down there. The orbital position strike is actually surprisingly good, so therefore I'm going to put it into B tire. The gas, I'm just going to put it down here, I don't want to talk about it. And you know what, the same goes for the easier, the smokes, put those down here as well. You want to destroy the enemies. You don't want to obscure the vision for them because the minute that cloud is gone, they will see you again and you'll get swarmed. So therefore, hit them as hard as you can instead. Don't bother with these stratagems. Oh yeah, that goes for this one as well. For the Orbital 120 and the 380mm, I will have to put this down into the D tire. Now, they do look epic when you use them, but the accuracy is not great and therefore you know, the chance of you killing your teammates or yourself is going to be higher than you killing the enemies. The Warkeeper Rats, however, can be surprisingly good, especially if you go into a map against the Automatrons and you see a fortress, then pop this thing down and you can do a lot of damage to the structures and the enemies inside. Now, C tire or B tire? Hmm. You know what? We're going to put this one up in the B tire. The Orbital Laser. That's going to be an S tire, but only bring one of these in per squad because they have a global use of three between your entire squad. The Orbital Rail Cannon, another S tire. This thing is extremely handy when you're getting overrun by heavies or if you run into the Bile Titan. They are precise, they will deliver the damage fast and they do a huge chunk of damage when they do hit. Eagle Strafing Run. That's going to be a D tire. Not worth it. Eagle airstrike, however, that I can see putting into a C tire. In some situations, even a B tire. Eagle napalm. That's gonna be an A tire. This can be surprisingly effective against termites because wherever you call this thing down, it's gonna blanket the ground with fire. That is gonna slow down the enemies. So if you have a choke point, it can be surprisingly good. The eagle 110 millimeters. That's gonna be a D tire. Now, it does zone in on the target, that being the biggest target that they can spot, but the damage it does is just not enough. If you call this down on a heavy, it doesn't kill it. So therefore, if you want something precise for that instead, go for the Orbital Rail Cannon. Then we have the Almighty Nuke. Everybody loves this thing, and I do understand why, so I will put this on an S tire. But for me personally, I think it's gonna be an A tire. It does deliver a lot of damage when you hit. But the explosive radius on it is actually smaller than you would expect. So if you do not hit directly your target with it, it's most likely not going to kill it. HMG replacement, extremely situational. If you have a defense mission, it can be good. Not the best, but it can be good. So we're going to put that into a C tire. Your shield barrier, I haven't really tested this thing a lot, but I can see it might be good when it comes to fighting the automatrons later on. 
Um, so we are just going to put this down on the C tire. The Tesla turret, that's going to be a D tire. Again, just like the Arc server, you might end up just killing more teammates and you're killing the enemies. Plus, the enemies has to be really close to it before it can start hitting them. And therefore, the chance for the enemies to rush it down and destroy it is going to be pretty high. Mines, don't use them. For the love of God, do not use mines. For the sentries, they come in two. You have the small one and you have the bigger one being the Gatling. The small one, I'd say the C tire. The bigger one, I'm going to put that into a B tire. The same goes for the auto cannon sentry. B tire. They can be surprisingly good if they are well placed on the map. Be very thoughtful of where you place them because they will die really fast if they get circled by the enemies. The mortar sentry. Oh, this is a tough one. If you have control over the battlefield, that meaning you have great distance between you and the enemy, this thing can make you just go AFK. But the minute it becomes chaos and panic, because the enemies are right up on you, this thing will destroy your entire team. So, I'm gonna have to put that into the D-tire. Ballistic shield backpack, D-tire. The rocket sentry, I'll have to put that into the C-tire. I'd say that the Gatling and the auto cannon is just better. Now lastly, we have the EMS motor. This can be an A-tire. You can make so much crowd control on the map using this thing. That's if you have two guys in a four-man squad using these and then just do it on a shift duty, it'll give you so much control over the battlefield. And also, it's going to help you being able to hit all the other stratagems on the enemies because they are slowed. Now, these are my thoughts for the tiles for the stratagems. That doesn't mean that this is correct. But hey, you let me know in the comments. What are your thoughts? I hope the video was informative for you, and if so, maybe doing a little sub down there helped me achieving partner soon on YouTube. Take care, and good luck doing your whole dives.